Hello and welcome to MS DOS Game Reviews. It's a little YouTube channel where I play ancient games, talk smack about them. And when I'm saying ancient games, I mean from 1986 at the moment. These games are made for MS DOS, which is a venerable operating system for the first personal computers that was available to common people. So. Today we are reviewing round 42. This was my all-time favorite game when I started playing computer games, you know, back in the 80s. Um, I was playing it on a, on a monochrome, CJ monochrome screen, but today we are going to be emulating an IBM PC Junior and uh, full color screen so here we go round 42 you can grab a copy of it from myabandonway.com i think this is also one of the reasons i started this little channel is uh yeah so um there we go best space invader clone i don't think so i don't think it's a space invader this is far beyond and yeah, addictive game, bloody bloody blah. I think I might actually turn this into emulating a Tandy. Tandy is a little bit more, more compatible. But anyway, let's let's go take a look. There we go. I'm just going to change the machine type. I'm, I'm using 300 cycles there, as you can see. But uh, I'm going to swap from PC Junior to Tandy. So uh, I've got all of this set up already. Now let's let's go take a look. And uh, okay, so basically, shareware user supported software. If you like it, save money. Um, it seems to work. Oh, worked in the past. They didn't get rich, but uh, yeah, you got enough to survive, I guess. And then tells you return to begin I have instructions instructions so you need 256k of memory k uh, the game consists of 42 rounds of battle against evading alien spaceships move by pressing arrow keys on the number of keypad press a key to begin moving and release the key to stop press two keys in unison for diagonal movement also use the horizontal movement keys during regeneration when your ship is hit. To attack, use the F1 key to fire bullets. The F2 key fires a special weapon called the phaser. Your ship has a limited number of phaser charges. Each charge is represented by a lightning bolt next to your score near the top of the screen. Each ship begins with one charge and you get more as points carry on. Each round brings new and different type of enemy. Uh, try to discover their fighting logic. Don't use your phasers willy-nilly. Every fourth round is a warp round. Then just try not to crash. Pause the game, use the space bar to abort the game or exit the doors. Use the escape key. Turn off sound and use the F9 and F10 keys. Uh, if situation is hopeless, use the backspace key to self-destruct any key to continue okay so round 42 let us get into the game um, okay so it takes a second renders this thing You guys also hear that whenever the text stops, it plays a little faster. It's almost as if it wants to be faster. Mm. You know what? Let me let me up those cycles a bit. Uh, 
let's see, let's see, let's see. Where are we? We only have cycles 806, 806. And we're gonna give ourselves 750 cycles. Just upgraded my machine there. Let's do this again. And uh, we're just gonna press return twice. So. That sounds better, does it? That sounds like the business. Alright. So as you can see, uh, you piloting this little thing, I'm just holding down a front so it's also fire. And that was my phaser. Gotcha. There's something though, when, when I'm running in this fast cycles, my keys seem to get stuck. Ooh, okay. There we go. Now this is our favorite support run. And we've gone through them. So, yeah, uh, the keys seem to be a little bit sticky. And even though I say this is my favorite game, we never. What? Oh, game over. I'm gonna change this, I'm sorry. Well, we'll go back to 400 pounds. Maybe that's just enough to fix the music, but not to get the sticky keys. Ah, one, one more try. See, this is this is the addictive addictiveness of this game. Sounds about right, doesn't it? Press any key. Um, Phaser time, right? Okay. So, yeah, the keys don't seem to get stuck anymore as much. There we go. And it looks like the machine should suffer just a little bit and then, then it works well. Sneaky picky. So I don't know how people call this space animated clone. It seems to be like almost a offense. <gasps> F1, of course, is right next to the escape. And that killed me. That's it. Now we're in for bird murder. Oh. Right, okay. Where are we getting this one? tell you why I like this game as much as I do, but uh, uh, I do like it. Oh, da -da 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 -da. And 
and my little warp round. Aha, okay. Course. That's bullet time. <coughs> so I'll be careful not to hit the escape this time. There we go. Oh, I don't think I've ever seen anything past the balloons. You know, these, these balloons. Uh, I've seen, it. I've seen somebody do like a speed run on YouTube. I don't know how much of it was edited. Oh. All right, round seven. Ooh. Ah. See, they get harder. Oh yeah, I remember the little injection. Oh. Man. More phases. Oh man. Yeah, we're definitely getting a little bit further now. These guys are a lot similar to the to the birds. Except more bullet happy. Round ten. Now there, there that was a fair shake. Well, let's say F9 for the sound. There we go. Wow. Round 42. What a blast from the past. It's a, it's an excellent game. Keyboard controls are pretty good. Not perfect, but pretty good. Uh, it did take a little bit of tuning to get the game to run like I remember it. And, uh, yeah, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you liked the little video. And uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.